The aptly named flower patch exists in a state of perpetual spring. Located in Hillsboro, North Carolina, a small town along the Eno River, the flower patch emanates warmth in spite of freezing outdoor temperatures and uncharacteristically ice-licked roads. It's just as much the actual Fahrenheit settings on the thermometer, intended to keep the flowers fresh, as it is the palpable goodness of the women who operate it together. Dion Compton is the proprietor of this thriving shop. Inspired by her mother's passion for the floral business, Dion has taken over ownership and management in recent years. The flower patch continues to be a family affair, with Faye Pope, Dion's mother, working alongside her. Faye is a character, a spitfire, in all other cliched terms to describe someone with a hearty laugh, a big personality, and a lot of opinions. Not one to shy away from doling out free advice, Faye is her many customers' pro bono therapist. She also isn't afraid to seek the help of her loving husband of more than 55 years. Luring him into the flower patch with promises of laughter and good cheer, Mr. Pope willingly changes light bulbs and helps out around the shop. However, this is no empty promise. Diane, another woman who works at the flower patch, is just as lively as Dion and Faye. Diane is never seen without a smile, often speaking of her two grandchildren, the wings at the nickel, and updating me on her current knitting projects. The women's chatting is usually punctuated by phone calls from customers requesting arrangements, like a dozen red rosins for Valentine's Day, or placing a delivery order. Announced and unannounced visitors also tend to pop in throughout the day, preferring to confirm orders in person than over the phone. Whether one's sending a celebratory bouquet to a work colleague, excitedly picking up a boutonniere for a prom date, or planning table settings for a wedding to a high school sweetheart, as this couple did, the women of the flower patch lovingly usher in these rites of passage. Yet, beneath the story of this shop lies Dion's story. Dion is not only a small business owner, but also a mother to her two children, Chandler, a high school junior who loves playing baseball, and Caroline, an eighth grader whose friends are comfortable confiding in Dion about both girl and boy drama. Dion is also an active volunteer in her community. She can be seen working in the concession stand, fetching Gatorade for indecisive spectators at her son's baseball and soccer games, laughing alongside her daughter's volleyball teammates, reminding them righty-tighty, lefty-loosey as they install the nets, and gathering her family together to watch late afternoon games of which Chandler's team, of course, wins. Still, having grown up on her parents' farm, Dion stresses the importance of familial bonds to her two children. As Chandler recently remarked to his mother, we're not like other families, not everyone is as close as we are. Chandler intended this statement in a figurative sense, but it can also be taken quite literally. Dion lives between two of her five siblings. Caroline is extremely close to her cousins, two boys who live next door to her and likes to go for golf cart rides around the property. Dion's other neighbor, her brother, who lives to her left, is a proud organic tobacco farmer. On beautiful spring afternoons, Dion likes to gather her family together and make a giant meal with her mother. This ritual is repeated in the fall as well, with big pots of delicious stew prepared outdoors. Dion is on the precipice of great change, straddling two generations, supporting her children and her parents while also being guided by her mother's dry wit and caring hand. Dion's life is an interconnected family affair that finds its roots in Hillsborough and blossoms at the flower patch.